I need to start this video off on a sad note. On New Year's Day, I lost my father unexpectedly at the age of 57. He lived a good full life, but I just want to remind everybody to enjoy the time you have with your family because it can end before you know it. I'd like to say thank you to everybody who supports this project, and I look forward to bringing you a whole bunch of awesome resources in 2018. To kick things off, I'm going to give you a quick angular productivity booster to eliminate long relative paths that look like this to a single global namespace. This means you can give all of your feature modules a specific namespace, and you never really have to worry about relative paths within your project. To demonstrate this, I'm starting off in a brand new Angular 5 app, and I'm going to generate a couple of ng modules, first one being core, second one being shared. From there, I'm going to generate a service inside of the core module. We'll just go ahead and call this the auth service. Then I'm going to generate a component, but for no reason at all, I'm going to nest this deeply within the file structure of the project. Let's go ahead and call it the deeply nested user login component. Then if we look at the file structure on the left, you can see the actual component file itself is nested about six levels deep within our project. This isn't really a problem unless we need to import this file in a different file that's nested higher up. So let's try this by importing the service into the component. Just a quick side tip here, whenever you import a file in TypeScript, start with empty parentheses, then type out the path so you can use TypeScript autocomplete from your IDE. And save yourself a few extra characters of typing. At this point, we're going to have to traverse up the file structure. So we do dot dot slash a whole bunch of times until we finally get to our core module. Then we go in there and grab the auth service. If you're an Angular developer, you probably get really annoyed if you have to do this frequently in a large, complex file structure. It also becomes a problem if you change the file location because you'll have to go back and rewrite each individual path that references this module. And it's also a problem when the imports are reversed. If we were to import the component in the service, we'd have to write out the entire deeply nested path. Fortunately, TypeScript gives us an easy solution to eliminate this problem altogether. Before I show you the actual solution, I want to show you the end result. So instead of the dot dot slash path that we have here, we're going to namespace the auth service so that we can reference it from anywhere in the project without dealing with the relative path. In this case, it's our core module, so we'll namespace it with at core. An added benefit is that the import statement looks exactly the same throughout your project, so you can easily do a find and replace if you change the name or location of the imported file. We can follow the same pattern for our component, but this time we'll namespace it with shared instead of core. The only thing you have to watch out for is name collisions, so you wouldn't want to namespace anything with Angular or NGRX or any other common mono repo out there. To make this possible, all we have to do is make some updates to our tsconfig in the root of our Angular app. Inside of the compiler options object, we're going to first set a base URL, which will point to the source directory. From there, we'll use TypeScript path mapping to give paths relative to this base URL their own custom namespace. The at symbol is completely optional, but I think it helps make it stand out from regular imports. Each namespace will point to a directory within your project. So in this case, we're just pointing to the core module. Then we'll do the same exact thing with the shared module, but since we have that deeply nested in there, we'll use those deeply nested paths as well. And while we're at it, another really useful path to namespace is your Angular environment. The environment paths are always really long, so we can just give that its namespace and never have to worry about the relative path again. And again, you want to be careful of name collisions, so if you want to be extra careful, prefix everything with the name of your app. That's it for my short imports video. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you're serious about building apps with this stack, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll get a free copy of my book, as well as exclusive access to my upcoming full stack Stripe payments demo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.